<laughs> so is it common for you to to call things frauds but not understand them and and then figure oh, it out I later? Um, I don't know why you're making that assumption that I don't understand them. Well, um, you called it a fraud, so I figured you'd have reasons for saying that. And then yeah, you could just so, tell me what they are. Okay. Instead of so the fraud is, yeah, pitch. okay, yeah. So the fraud is, um, <clears throat> the scam is you guys using price to like show how great your project is. All you say is price, price, price up 1300% of, of 1000, whatever percent. All you talk about is price. And what if, what if I told you that the way you set up the project is deliberately to make the price go up independent of a real price discovery or real price. So the way you have hex set up, right? I mean, the way you have hex set up is people have to lock their coins, right? And the supply gets lower and lower, right? So do you understand that business is by definition the designing of systems to accrue values for shareholders? Value, right. Yes. Now, what if, okay, so for example, if IBM had a stock split, we wouldn't uh -huh. be spooting out news articles that the price just, I mean, a reverse stock split. If somebody does a reverse stock split, it's not the price that went up because the supply went down. So the fact that all, all you guys do is push price, 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 and the price is manipulated just to do that. And you know what? I've been watching markets for longer than you have, and I've seen the correlations of all the exchanges, and during massive risk off events in this space, right? All of a sudden hex is not involved in any of the correlations to any of the other prices. So what's so special about hex that it doesn't move? And what's so special is, is that the price is manipulated and then you use the price to get more people in. So you could dump your hex and turn it into Bitcoin. So it's a long-term a long term fraud. That's, that's my take. Okay. Every single thing you just said is wrong. Okay. First, I'm a better trader than you. Okay. Second, That's... a better founder than you. Third, I know more about markets than you do. Fourth, I have seen you post on Twitter the stupidest shit I have ever seen anyone post, literally. And I'll give you an example. Right. But you're talking, you that's post. not what we're debating, what I'm posting. We're debating. I'm talking about your post in regards hex. to hex. It is totally relevant. Well, I just made a statement you, regarding the price of hex. So why don't you tell me? You posted that you can't know the price of hex because it trades on decentralized exchanges. Right. You posted that. Yes. Okay. So you see how a second ago you were just trying to shut me up, but then 10 seconds later, you're like, oh, you're right. Yeah, that's relevant what you were saying. Okay. Yeah. So don't try and shut me up, dude. I know what a good debate looks like. Okay. So I'm going to teach you about fucking markets. I don't need you don't you know to teach shit. You. I know more shit. than you about markets. No, you don't. Yes. Okay. I do. how, so have you heard of Uniswap? Yes, I have. All right. Do you know how it works? Do you know how it works? Yes. I'm a fucking okay. expert. You're an expert at Uniswap. Do you yeah. know that Uniswap uh, depends on arbitrage to some centralized exchange for price? No, it doesn't. It's in the white paper. You're just dumb. It's in the white no, paper. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Listen, no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's very it's simple. Okay. I'm going to explain Uniswap to you because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck Uniswap you're talking about. Uniswap is a very simple example. Has yes, no I do. I'm the founder of a $50 Uniswap billion dollar has, cryptocurrency Uniswap has no retired for 20 years. Uniswap has no price discovery. Holy fuck. I know this is going to be hard for you to get educated, which is how you ended up in the apathetic, unintelligent place that you are now. But if you're quiet for long enough, I can make you smarter. I don't need, I understand you, to make, I don't need you to make works. me smarter. You know. I think I'm smarter than you. So let's just I know you that. do. And I know, I know you, you think do. you're smarter than me. You and Mensa? Are you a Mensa? I'm a Mensa. Well, so what? I've, not, I've got literal a... scientific proof that I'm smart. Where's yours? You're dumbass, but you think you're smart. You're Dunning-Krugerite. Do you know what the Dunning-Kruger effect is? I know what it is, yeah. So you say so, you do. So what is it? Yeah, why don't you just start with... No, you say you... you know shit and you act hard, but you're actually stupid. What is the Dunning-Kruger effect? The Dunning-Kruger effect is that people that aren't smart tend to think they're smarter than they are. Okay. Like, like all your hexagon guys. Yeah. And people that are actually smart tend to think they're not smart. The okay. inverse is you just, well, let's just talk about Uniswap. I say Uniswap has sure. no price discovery. Yes. You need, you, need a central, you need a limit order book with matching for price discovery. And if let's look at the, I'll find you the Uniswap. I'll find you okay. the Uniswap so white paper. Do you understand that Uniswap V3 has limit order book now? Or are you too stupid to know oh, yeah? that? Yeah. Where does the match happen? In Uniswap V3, you get to choose the tick at which you trade and you don't have to spread multiple ticks as you had to on Uniswap V2. 
and Uniswap V3, you don't have to put liquidity on both sides. On Uniswap V3, you can put liquidity on one side. So as soon as your order fills in Uniswap V3, you can remove your liquidity and your order's filled and you in effect placed a fucking limit order. But your ass is so stupid, you don't know that exists. Furthermore, you don't know the difference between a price oracle and, and all that matters is people buying and selling at a price. The particular mechanism by which they do it, whether it's an X times Y equals K consistent product, constant product market maker like Uniswap is or Bancor is or Sushi Swap is or One Inch Exchange is, the, the only thing that matters is that this person paid this and this person sold for that. And you can capture that logic. You can capture that intelligence with a CLOB central or book or with an automated market maker. Now, here's the difference. A CLOB is an easily fucking spoofed, iceberg ordered. You don't know who's really trading. You don't know who's trading with no fees. You don't know who's a market maker. You don't know what other bags they hold. You don't know whether they sold at a loss or bought at a loss. You don't know whether they're going to pull the fucking order before it fills. The shit goes down all the time. It's not on chain. It's not a transparent. And the exchanges that run clubs get hacked all the fucking time. So why doesn't, why doesn't the Nasdaq, got hacked. why doesn't the Nasdaq uh, use Uniswap? Because it didn't exist a... when Nasdaq launched. So what, so you're th you think the equity markets are now going to move out of, out of club into uh, AMMs? To some degree. Yeah. The majority of volume for cryptocurrency trading is already in AMMs. The thickest order books in the world with the most liquidity are in uh, AMM. I disagree. I, read, I just wrote a white Motherfucker, paper. You can Google it, bitch. Let's go look it up. Ready? Let's go. Look go up look up what? your thickest I, Ethereum I know book. There's, I know go look up your thickest Ethereum book. Go look up your thickest Ethereum book. Guy that thinks he's smart. You're actual... not smart. You don't know shit about shit. Go find me a thick order book for Ethereum on a club. Let's uh, go find it. Right? Then, so I'm going to go to Uniswap.info yeah. and you're going to go to your fucking club. And we're going to yeah. go see what a 10% slippage order does and how many we can get fucking filled. Because you don't okay. know shit about shit, bro. You know nothing. Right. Yeah. You don't know how automated okay. market makers work. Yes. You don't know how price discovery works. You don't know how price discovery works. You need, you right. need, so, a, okay. you need limit so when, orders, matching market orders. This has been studied for... for you have that years. in Uniswap now, you dumb fuck. Okay, when That's did that in start? Uniswap. When did that it's start? there. When you can place start? a limit order in Uniswap. Yeah, you I will show a... you how to do it on stream. Okay. I will teach you how to use DeFi on stream right now if yeah. you're smart enough to fucking learn. Are you smart enough to learn? I'll take you to the website right now. I'll show you how to do it. Just go to app.uniswap.org. Okay. You think Uniswap doesn't have limit orders. You're a fucking idiot. You're talking about version three. I haven't looked at version three yet. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, oh, my God. It's okay, only been but out for hex, months. Hex has it's been around, the hex has been around for crypto, longer than bro. that. Okay, Hex has been around for longer than that. So right, when you, well, Let's keep yeah. score, Okay. Okay. You didn't know shit about automated market makers. Yes, I do know shit. I just wrote a white paper about it. You just wrote a white paper. Holy fuck. I'm the one that made Uniswap popular. Hex so was the majority of volume. What took you so long to get into Bitcoin? What took you so long to get into Bitcoin? What were you? What were Bitch, you I've been in Bitcoin about? since fucking Q1 2011. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I've mined full Bitcoin blocks on my own with no pool and my own fucking GPUs. I was mining Bitcoin when you didn't have to have a fucking fee to set a transaction. Yeah, I know. Who the fuck's yeah. in Bitcoin before me? Who? Me. Me. Bullshit. Yeah. What do you Look, tell me? Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Well, I, was I was the first one to tweet the Bitcoin. I was the first one to tweet the Bitcoin ticker symbol. Right. Yeah. And, and what percentage of Bitcoin? And I was coding, high, I was coding high frequency market making uh, for Wall Street at the time. So that's think, why you don't have any money because you lost it all trying to trade. What are you talking about? I lost it all. I bought Bitcoin at 99 cents. What the fuck? Are okay, you dog. About? Well, I got a million dollars. Why are you making shit? Who gives a got? shit about money? Who gives a shit about money? People that invent money from scratch, like Satoshi and myself. Oh, you're Satoshi. People that work all day, every so, day. Okay, so you're saying Hex is better than Bitcoin and yes. Ethereum. So why is it? Okay, yes. where does Hex run? On Ethereum? Yes. So Correct. it's better than Ethereum on Ethereum. That's right. And, and it's yes. uncorrelated to everything else. No, not it's okay. mostly uncorrelated. During it's a risk off during a risk off event, why is Hex not get sold off? It's just <laughs> Hex is special? Yes. Correct. Why, yeah, because why? I designed why it to be special and I can explain it specifically to price. you. Tell me, besides for price, what makes X special? It's more secure than Bitcoin. It has lower fees. It has higher throughput. It has a better community. It has better memes. It has a better domain name. It has better marketing. It has better disclosures. It's more honest about price risk. It talks about the price going down 85 and 95%, which no other cryptocurrency website in the world does. It used to be the highest volume, most traded thing on on-chain exchange. Now some other things have caught up. We made Uniswap popular. Which, which on-chain? Oh, okay. By the way. Yeah. Which what? Oh, go ahead. Keep going. 
Yeah. I'm the motherfucker that gave Bitcoiners millions and millions and millions of dollars of free money by letting them mint hex for free. What did you do for Bitcoiners, bitch? What'd you do? Did you give Bitcoiners millions of dollars of free money? No, you Uh, fucking didn't. You're a punk. Okay. You're a broke punk that acts smart, that doesn't know shit about shit. And you said you got Bitcoin at a fucking dollar, but you're broke. Why do you say I'm broke? You're a guy that thinks Why do you say I'm broke? But why are you making shit up? Because I don't have watches. I'm bragging about my million dollars of watches. Brag, what do you got? What do you got? just bought a house. Oh yeah, what's your house cost? More than my watches? Probably, yeah. Probably. It's not hard math, dog. Does your house cost more than a million bucks or not? Yeah, of course. Okay, well then, yay. Congratulations. How much is that of equity and how much is loan? It doesn't matter. Ah, <laughs> you got no equity in your house, you broke motherfucker. You Why? could have bought hacks when it was 1700 so you think, times cheaper you think i should but have instead sold, you were you, flapping you, your fucking you think lips. i sh- you think i should have sold all my bitcoin to, to yes. put it in real estate right now is that is that, no. is that your call no i think okay. bitcoin is going out of ten thousand. if yeah. you want to quote me on some shit going down I think to ten thousand down to ten thousand when yes before, i think be, bitcoin's going down a hundred thousand okay year. so let me ask you this i bitcoin, think bitcoin is going down to ten thousand within the next year and you think hex goes up while bitcoin goes yes. to ten thousand yes for sure okay you know why yeah, I want to explain to you why the markets aren't connected. So what's today? So you're saying, so one year from now, June 15th, 2022, you're saying. Bitcoin uh, will have tapped 10,000. Yes. Bitcoin will have tapped 10,000 and HEX yep. would be up. And so you're yes. saying and it, what Ethereum will decouple too from. No, Bitcoin? Ethereum's coupled. The terms. So everything's the down besides HEX. Everything's going down besides HEX. No, some other shit's decorrelated too. You just wish it wasn't happening. So like there, there when you. The things that are correlated with each other are correlated because they're tied together by liquidity and order books on their trading pairs. The reason that Ethereum price goes down when Bitcoin price goes down is because of the liquidity in the ETH BTC pair, because they're interchangeable right. with each other. Exactly. So when the value of one thing that is right. tied to another thing goes down, that tie draws them both down. Exactly. The reason that HEX is decorrelated from the rest of the cryptocurrency market is because the majority of our liquidity is not in BTC pairs is not in Ethereum pairs. The majority of our liquidity is in fucking US dollar pairs. So right. our price goes up and down when people fucking buy or fucking sell okay. HEX. It so doesn't Hex, go up yeah. and down when people buy or sell fucking BTC. Okay. So HEX is the number one coins and, and all the buyers, yes. there's gotta be a lot of people holding HEX and a lot of buyers. Yes. So when these buyers have capitulation, right? They're selling everything price and dips. everything's going down. Every, everyone, yep. they're selling, right? They're the shit hitting the fan. They're selling everything well, we have besides HEX. But we had hex. this in COVID dip. We had this in COVID hex. dip already. But everything we else already is have down. had this experience. We don't need to guess. So you're what saying the humans, the humans it. during capitulation, they decide mm-hmm. we're selling everything besides hex. That's what you're saying. That that's your no. The majority of people that are in hex are in hex heavier than they're in everything else because the price appreciation has forced their portfolio to look like that. Uh, are you going to you start your own chain? Are you going to start your own layer one? Yes. Why don't you start your it's own already, layer one? It's already done. I already did that. What's... How dumb are you? Why don't you pay attention? I already have a fork of Ethereum. It already is running on testnet. The main net launch is in like 45 or 60 days. Okay. Yeah, and it comes with all the ERC-20s. So there's going to be 10,000 new coins in the world. You might even find that more interesting than Hex. Why don't you already know that? Why don't you fucking like read my Twitter? You, you, you literally come to my Twitter, talk shit, I, and then I come and educate you. And you could have just known this by reading my Because all I do, all when I, when I research Hex, all I see is price. Price, 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 price. Dog, price. then why don't you click the tech specs page that shows you non-price why it's better than Bitcoin? Or yes. why don't you read so, the fucking audits? Or why don't you like, there's so much other shit going on here. You just only really notice the price. It's better than Bitcoin. And, and in 45 days from now, you're yes. going to have your own chain. Okay. So maybe, maybe it, 60. So yeah. you're saying it will be better than Bitcoin once it has its own chain and it's not on no. Ethereum, right? No. Because right now no, it's on Ethereum. It's not related. You don't right. know anything. Yeah. Is Tether of is Tether a successful project? Tether, yeah. Okay. Why not? Did Tether only used to run on Omni Protocol? Yes. Did Omni Protocol only used to run on Bitcoin? Okay. Yes. Right. Right. How much volume and how valuable is Omni Protocol? I don't know. Nothing. It's worth yeah. nothing. They right. do six hundred dollars of volume a fucking day. Right. But a multi billion dollar project ran on them. So explain to me how a wildly successful, more volume than any other coin in crypto, Tether, runs on a coin that's worth nothing. Because the fucking to the US abstraction dollar. of it's value, to the yeah. it's the network isn't what matters. The endpoint or what matters. Who makes more money? Amazon, Netflix, or Comcast? Well, you couldn't yeah. get your Amazon and your Netflix to the user unless it went through Comcast 
but Comcast makes less money because the substrate, the fucking dumb pipe in the middle is worth less than the valuable fucking endpoint that's closer to the money. Okay. And this stratification of value capture exists in all fucking industries. Uh, okay. So this concept that your coin's going to be worth more if you're the fucking layer one is stupid. Because if that were true, Omni would be worth fucking billions instead of Tether. But it's not. So I take your ideas, which are dumb and proven false in the real fucking world, and I show you them and I go, look, your idea is fucking stupid. And here's the proof of why it's fucking stupid. Right. So no, in yeah. fact, being a, a layer one fucking coin is not actually what makes a, a fucking value proposition okay. for so people that buy and hold a thing. All right. So Hex is going to so Hex is going to be the... Uh... Hex is going to be the ETH of your new fork. It's going to be a. No, it's, it's, it's not. The fork has absolutely. I am. I 